Jedi Academy Book 2, Dark Apprentice. This book was written by Kevin J. Anderson and published by Bantram Spectra, June 1994, and it takes place 11 ABY. This video took longer to get to than I thought it would, as it took me a while to read the book. It's not because I wasn't enjoying it, or that I think it's a poor book, although I do have some issues with it, and we'll get to that later. But, yeah, it just, you know, I, I was doing other things, and I guess it wasn't that high of a priority. What's going on, guys? I'm The Walrus Jedi, and uh, welcome to another book review. Um, yeah, so if you like these book reviews, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more in the future. And there will be spoilers for this book. And with that, let's just get right to the Dramatis Personae, Luke Skywalker. Han Solo, Leia Organa Solo, Lando Calrissian, Chewbacca, C-3PO, R2-D2, Jaina Solo, daughter of Han and Leia, Jason Solo, son of Han and Leia, Anakin Solo, infant son of Han and Leia, and all three of those are force sensitive, Mara Jade, leader of some smugglers, and she's force sensitive, Kip Duran is a force sensitive, and he's from Dare, Admiral Akbar, on Calamari Admiral, of the New Republic. Natasi Dalla, a female Imperial Admiral from Ermenu. Gantoris, a Force-sensitive human male from Eolshaw. Dream, a Force-sensitive human male from Bespin. Dorsk 81, a Force-sensitive male from Khan. A clone, Karani T, a Witch of Dathomir, a Jedi student. Tione, a Force-sensitive female from Rindau, one of Luke's students. Kilgal, a Force-sensitive female from the Mon Calamari, and she's proficient in Force healing and also becomes a student of Luke's. Quizux, former Imperial scientist from Unwat. Fergan, Imperial warlord from Karida. Exar Kun, a human male, former Jedi and Sith Lord of the Old Republic. Dark Apprentice. Leia and Akbar crash on Vortex, causing damage to a Vortex monument and the deaths of hundreds of Vors. This was actually a failed assassination attempt by Fergan of Karida. Blaming himself for the havoc on Vortex, Akbar resigns his rank in disgrace and goes to Moncala. Jaina and Jason go on an adventure throughout the bowels of Coruscant after leaving Chewie and 3PO, and through their adventures they, you know, stumble into some danger, but they manage to find some dwellers down in Coruscant who help them back to their home. Leia goes to Mon Calamari to bring Akbar back, and that's when Admiral Dalla attacks the water world, and our heroes succeed in repelling Dalla. Uh, she also loses another Star Destroyer, but Mon Calamari sustains uh, several lost cities in the defense, and Akbar decides to stay on Mon Calamari to help his people, you know, with defenses and rebuilding and all that. So Leia has to go back by herself. Lando and Han play Sabacc multiple times for the Falcon's ownership. Young Kip Duran joins Luke's Jedi Praxium to learn the Jedi ways, which he picks up quickly, astonishing the other students, but he also learns the dark side after Gantoris' death. Gantoris had fallen to the dark side by the spirit of Exar Kun, but Gantoris was killed by the dead Sith eventually. Exar Kun begins to seduce Kip to the dark side, Kip's power and abilities grow exponentially, and due to all of Kuhn's lies about the history of the Jedi Order, he has a violent disagreement with a fellow student, Tione, over the history of Exar Kuhn, and attacks Luke when the Jedi Master confronts him. Kip goes to Quizux on Ithor, and removes her memory of the Sun Crusher, and several other memories. Basically, she barely remembers anything. The fallen Jedi then reclaims the Sun Crusher and destroys Dallas' two Star Destroyers and goes to seek more Imperial planets. Luke is discovered by his students alive, but in a deep coma. What I liked. The Jedi stuff, you know, with Luke and teaching his students on Yavin 4, I, I really enjoyed that. And the Exar Kun stuff, I think, is interesting. This, you know, long dead Sith. Yeah, all that stuff, I, I do enjoy. And now what I didn't like. Uh, first up, Jaina and Jason's little adventure. This just felt like a waste of time. I'll just be blunt. Like, I, I don't need to be, like, this would be fine in a different book, but like, I don't want to go on a little kid adventure where nothing really happens to him. 
there's they're not in peril at all they're they're fine so not that i want to see you know little kids get hurt but it's just like i don't know it's kind of far-fetched and then the multiple sabak games uh, it just got annoying oh play me for the falcon okay han loses and then Han eventually comes back. Lando, let's play again. Okay, Han wins. And then Lando's like, hey, let's play again. And so they play again, and Han loses again. But then Lando's like, hey, uh, don't worry, buddy. I'll just give it back to you. It's like, it's dumb. They better not play again in the third book. I'm getting tired of this BS. Move on. Stupid. Yeah, and then uh, Admiral Dalla. Uh, she is not an impressive villain at all. She's a joke. I feel like... And it might be just because, you know, she's been out of the loop for so long. And these other players, they, you know, they just, she's not a huge threat, really. I mean, it's funny. They're like, oh, Admiral, we, you know, we've done some damage to the New Republic. We took out a couple of little convoys and, and a, uh, and a outpost on Dantooine that was like 50 people of like, refugees. Like, really? That's what you've done? And I guess now they've done some damage to Mon Cala, but Admiral Dalla is a lame villain. Sorry. I, I'd, I'd much rather you get rid of her. And we just were focusing on Exar Kun as the big bad for this trilogy. Yeah. And then, uh, Kip Duran just going breaking bad, I guess you could say, like, I don't know, thinking he's, he knows all he's smarter than Luke. Luke's an idiot. And it's like, but Luke has, he's experienced the dark side before he actually, he actually understands the dark side and how tempting it is and, you know, how to come back. So he's, I think Luke's the perfect person to, uh, to eventually, obviously, you know, right now Kip is busy going on a rampage across the galaxy, but I think Luke could help Kip in the future once Kip, uh, comes to his senses. But I don't know. I just, I don't know if I love that plot point, but I guess we'll see what happens in the third book. Well, that's my review of Dark Apprentice. Um, in terms of a rating, I'd give this probably a, a 4 out of 10. I don't know, I just I didn't enjoy it that much. Most of this book is regarding stuff I didn't like. The Jedi stuff, um, there's just not enough of it. All the other subplots either I didn't like, like the Jaina and Jason thing, or should be in another story or book, like all the Akbar and Leia stuff. It just feels like... This is, this is called Jedi Academy, and yet half the book, at least, is not following the Jedi Academy. We're following the New Republic stuff. And, you know, most of that is actually kind of interesting. But, I'm sorry, I want to follow the New Republic, or I want to follow the, the Jedi stuff. You know, we, we barely get to see Luke rebuild the Jedi Order and find artifacts and train students, and then... When we actually get a trilogy that's, oh, here's the Jedi Academy. Oh, well, you know, maybe about half of the total runtime in the book in the book trilogy ends up being Jedi stuff. It's, it's a little disappointing, but as I said, you know, it should be Jedi training and rebuilding. And the, the big bad of this book should not be a bog standard, boring, lame Imperial Admiral that really sucks. You know, we, we've, we've done that before. That's boring. Let's move on. You know, it should be a force threat. It should be Exar Kun, not Admiral Dalla. So, and I realize that they're, they're both, you know, kind of the, the villains. Whereas Admiral Dalla is probably the secondary villain, Exar Kun. You know, he's, the, it's a slow burn. He only pops up. Does he pop up at all in the first book? There might be a little like, oh, there's a shadow or something at the very end but then the second book it really comes in this trilogy is called the jedi academy trilogy so i would expect some jedi academy stuff and i just wish there was more let me know what you thought of this book and uh, yeah you can watch the jedi search review on the screen now and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy it and until next time thanks for watching